Hey, I'm Jake. Today we're going to be tackling part two of my in-app purchases tutorial for Unity. So if you haven't checked out part one, I'll have a link to that in the description and make sure that you watch that before this video, otherwise things aren't really going to make any sense. And if you like this tutorial, consider subscribing, it would help me out immensely. And if you really want to help me out, download my latest game Crosswalk Droid. It's available for both iOS and Android and I'll have links for that in the description as well. But let's get into this tutorial. So in part one, I showed you guys how to set up everything in the Unity editor and get that all ready. But what we need to do now is hook everything that we did in the last tutorial up to the App Store Connect and the Google Play Console. So once you're in the App Store Connect, you just wanna make sure that you click on your app and go into the Features tab. From there, just select In-App Purchases and then come down here and we're gonna start creating our in-app purchases. So we'll do that. And the first one, here, just a sec. The first one that we're gonna to wanna to do is our remove ads, which is a non-consumable in-app purchase. So we'll click the plus button and go to non-consumable in-app purchase and hit create. Okay, so once you're in, we just wanna first give it a reference name and we're gonna call this one remove ads. And then the product ID is very important. You have to copy the exact string from the script that we made um, in the last tutorial. So for this, it's just gonna be remove ads. Um, just come here and paste that in. So now you just wanna come down to pricing and Apple has it set up in tiers. You can select anything from $0 to about what looks like $1,000. Obviously, that would be impressive if you got someone to pay for that. So for this one, removing ads, a good price would be anywhere from like 99 cents to $1.99. Um, so I'll just do $1.99, that seems fair. So here, if you want a different display name and a different description for different localizations, this is where you would do that. You just click on the plus and add the country that you're targeting, and then you can have a specific message for that. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna focus on the United States. So the display name, this is what will show up when you actually click on it, and it'll pop up with a message for, do you wanna buy this? And we'll say, do you want to buy remove ads? Just because that's simple. And then you need a description. This has to be at least 10 characters long. You don't want it to be exactly the same as the display name. So we'll just say, this removes all ads from the game. So next we'll come down to our review information. And Apple requires that we have both a screenshot and some notes about what the in-app purchase is gonna be about. Now, as the screenshot is handled, they require that the screenshot is the store that uh, basically the button that the person's gonna be clicking to view it, and they require that it be 640 by 920 pixels. And Unity actually makes this pretty simple for us. If we come back to Unity, we can go up to our aspect ratio, and we can click and create a new one. And just for simplicity, I'll call this IAP, <clears throat> and then we'll just change it to 640 by 920 pixels. Now mine looks like garbage because it I didn't actually edit the aspect ratio of like the buttons and whatnot. Make sure yours looks a little bit better than this, but it'll work for what we're doing. Now you want to make sure that your scale is actually at one. And then on I'm on a Mac, so this becomes pretty easy. I thought you just do Command Shift 4, you get this little thing. And then you can just go and select the part of it that you want. And it's that simple. So now that we have our image, we can just drag it over and release. Following that, we just wanna write a few notes about where the button is and what it does. So for our case, we'll write, it is the first button in our store. And then just write some a little bit of functionality. It will remove all ads okay and then we just have to hit save okay so I'm getting an error it states the product ID you entered has already been used enter a unique product ID and try again the reason it's saying this is because I've used this string in one of my other applications so we'll that's fine we'll just change it and make it something unique we'll just call it something that I'm never plan on actually using for a real game so we'll just do remove ads 2020, or no, 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 we'll just do this. 
remove ads tutorial and we'll just change it to that okay so now if we copy this we were to go back and change the product ID to that new string make sure that everything else is still filled out which it is and then if we were to hit save we have our first in-app purchase done on iOS great so let's just go back and we need to create two more for coin 100 and coin 500 so let's just click on one and these are both going to be consumable in-app purchases so let's click on that consumable to create the reference name will be coin 100, I can't type today, 100. And for this one, I do believe this product ID will be safe. I haven't used it before, so don't plan on using it. You know what? Just to make things easier on me in the future, in case I want to use that, I'm going to label, and you, you guys don't have to do this, but I'm going to label all of mine as tutorial. So you guys don't need to worry about this. This is just because I'm not actually going to use these in-app purchases. I don't want them to take away names that I might use in the future. So I'll just save this script and continue with these for now. So let's copy our coin 100 string and place it in. So let's go to the pricing unit, choose, we'll say coin 100, it's a dollar. And then we'll go down to our localizations. The display name, we will say coin 100. The description gives the player 100 coins. Okay. Then we go down to the review information. Then we just need to drag in our image that we took earlier. And then we'll just say it is the second button in the store. It is designed to give the player 100 coins. And you can really write whatever you want, but that's a good idea to tell the um, person that's gonna be looking into this which button it is and then what it's gonna do. Okay, so that, that's really it. So let's hit save. Awesome, now we just gotta do it one more time. Let's do that. It's another consumable, create. This one's going to be coin 500. Product ID is. Oh my gosh, I cannot copy. Just take, yeah, the product ID is the coin 500 tutorial. Price, you, you don't want it to be the same price as 100 coins, that wouldn't make any sense. So let's just do 199. Go down to localization, it's called coin 500. Then the description gives the player 500 coins. And then once again, we'll take the screenshot and we'll go to our review notes <clears throat> and we will state it is button number three in the store. It is designed to give the player 500 coins. I did not spell that right. Okay. Sick. So let's save that. Now if you come back in your in-app purchases, we have both of our consumables, the 100 coins and 500 coins, and we have our remove ads. So then when the only thing that you'd have to do left for it is when you go to submit your app, you'll come to this section when you're um, actually preparing your submission. In your in-app purchases, you'll just want to grab them and just select all three and hit done. And then everything on iOS is set up. So let's jump over to the Google Play Console. So when you're in the Google Play Console, you're gonna to wanna to click on your app and then come down to where it says in-app products and you're gonna to wanna to go to manage products. Now to create an in-app purchase for the Google Play Console, it's fairly similar, it's pretty easy. We'll just click on create manage product and this is where you'll grab the product ID. And for this case, you want them to be the same. So we'll do the remove ads first. So we'll just copy that over and we'll paste it in. Next, it needs a title. We'll say just remove ads. 
and then a description we'll say removes all ads within the app next you're going to want to set it to active make sure you set it to active otherwise it won't work then you want to come down to pricing you'll click add a price now because ios has it in certain tiers you want it to keep the same consistent rate across devices so we've already made this one cost a dollar 99 on the apple app store so we want it to stay the same on the google play console as well so just make sure that you keep those consistent so we'll hit apply and then we'll come down and hit save great it's been saved so we can go back so that's great let's create two more products and this one will be our coin 100 let's copy that over and the title will just be coin 100 make a better title guys but and we'll say gives the player 100 coins all right remember to set it to active and then as the price we said this one was going to be 99 cents so hit apply and hit save so let's create one more just to show it and we will grab our product id which is coin 500 tutorial and we'll paste it in we'll just call this one coin 500 and then we'll go to the description gives the player 500 coins set it to active and then as a pricing um, i believe we did this one at 199 Make sure that you check that and make sure that they're consistent. That's all I can say. And then hit save. Great. And that's all you have to do for the Google Play Console. If it asks you about pricing information, make sure that you have your payments section filled out on your Google Play developer account. Otherwise, none of this, they won't be able to send you the funds basically. So that's what that warning's about. So yeah, that about does it. So now when you actually get to the point of testing your app um, through either test flight or the internal beta testing on Android, you can test your in-app purchases. On Apple, make sure that you use your test Apple ID, um, basically your fake tester Apple ID that you've set up um, to test your in-app purchases through test flight. That way it doesn't actually run an actual credit card. And with Google, you can set it up with your actual Gmail account, um, and it basically does the same thing. So you won't get charged, and you can actually test if all of the um, in-app purchases went through, and that they actually gave you, gave you your rewards. So I hope you enjoyed these tutorials, and I hope you found them useful. If you like them, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one.